everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're having a grand week. So I've had this idea for a while, and to be fair, it would probably be more relevant, shall we say, a few months ago, when obviously we had all the new Coca-Cola themed little uh, little events and items and all that jazz, but I could never really kind of find something I was happy with. And then I actually started uh, using, let me get to my Nuka camp, let me pop up here. So I actually started using some of these big boxes in other builds, and I was like, I've actually got a little bit of an idea now. So this is my Nuka camp. The idea I had was I wanted to make something that looked like a really tiny local fair. Not really like, you know, kind of an actual, um, kind of massive fairground or kind of theme park kind of thing. No, no, I wanted something that was really, really tiny that someone in the apocalypse might set up as just a way to make people happy. And the idea of putting it right next to the Wayward was like, maybe this is part of the Wayward setup and this is just like a little quote fun area they've got nearby. Plus I just wanted to make something silly and colorful. Um, I quite like, as I mentioned in my last video, making kind of camps that aren't really living camps. The living is actually done in my shelter, which is just over there. And instead just make something which is sort of themed, and then there's my little living quarters. My little personal player home is just my vault utility shelter, which is just tucked in a corner, all cosy and like. And yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. Yeah, it would definitely be more relevant, I think, had I done it, like, about a few months ago. But I hadn't really had an idea that stuck, so um, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. I also like this as well because I've mentioned before how I sometimes find decorating the interiors of buildings quite tedious, so it's quite nice to just... I, I like building stuff, basically, rather than necessarily kind of decorating bits, and this just kind of gives me an excuse. The one horrible thing about this location is a shit for brains over here, which gives me sanctuary trauma from, um, from Fallout 4, but we'll all... I swear he hears me. And knows that I'm talking about him. But we'll all, we'll all power through it. But yeah, it's quite colourful. It's quite fun, this. Hasn't used... I think it's got probably maybe a fifth of the building budget left. Um, and I don't actually have all of the new Coca-Cola stuff. I've got most of it. There are a few bits. But it's got, like, a vibe. It was quite fun to decorate. I want to see if you see. I've got my little... Um, I don't realise... I don't think there is actually a Vault Girl head that you can put on. Like, a non-Power Armor version of so I'm... Unless there is, and I've just missed it. But anyway, I was going to have male and female attendants, but I don't have the Volgo heads. So they're all blanks. But it's just got a nice little vibe to it. It was quite fun. My big problem as well with 76 is I make all these kind of like fun, like, <laughs> multiplayer almost themed camps. And then I'm always playing on my private world. So I'm going to try and force myself <laughs> to stop playing on my own. Uh, because I'm such an antisocial shithead. <laughs> But yeah, just a little one. Um, it has been a while, obviously, since... Uh, for those who don't know, I'm, I'm, if you're watching this video live, I have been moving, and I'm, I'm literally about to move my stuff next week, so I've been, like, flat hunting and things like that. Um, so I haven't been able to make as many videos and a stream as much as I'd like, but I still like to jump in and remind you guys I exist, and soon the move will be finished. Just in time for when Starfield drops, which is actually going to be in a few weeks. And that should be grand, because my internet will set up, and I'll have... Absolutely loads of video ideas, which can be really really cool. But yes, little little bit of a small one this these bits are fun to make And just as actually before I kind of get to the ending of the video these new coca-cola like especially these square ones here Are absolutely amazing. Uh, they're such a nice little size. My one criticism a little bit Is I forgot to put a rug in front of the tree um, So it's spawning out. Um, you might have to use blueprints to get stuff inside because often Stupid respawning tree often stuff will like, jump to the ceiling. You know that thing where you try and place stuff under roofs and then it suddenly places on the roof? That will happen in those. But if you use blueprints, uh, like blueprint and put a rug behind, you can place things quite easily. But they're a nice little size. And because they're quite sturdy looking as well, they integrate quite nicely with uh, kind of player walls. And therefore they kind of add to the existing structure. Uh, basically they make you look nice and reinforced. Um, I've mixed feelings of these, but they do have a nice centipede. Actually, the ramble, I was initially... I was initially, I was initially... I was initially... I've gone on a tangent now, where is it? I was initially going to use one of these giant billboards. Uh, where is it? Where's the thing? I've got so much nonsense. One of these ones here, which apparently doesn't want to get on my thing. Yeah, this one. Specifically, I was going to use that one. Um, and it did look quite cool, but it's a little bit too big. If I were to be able to raise it up... The problem is, if you try and raise it up, it does this. Oh, what? It actually worked that time. God damn it. Okay, so. <laughs> I 
I can't believe that worked. Oh, of course, because I'm on Worlds right now. That's why it let me play it. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm recording on Worlds, and I've just imported the... Uh, imported the cam but initially i did not um i'd planned to use one of those giant signs but if you play it on non-worlds it will basically like if i turn off um there we go so it should now oh no it works perfectly well i don't know it was it was sinking into the ground before anywho hope you guys like that i like these little camps this one was fun this was fun. I usually gimmicky camp sometimes like especially like the the bowling alleys the coffee shops i tend to kind of get a little bit mixed feelings with them um, because of the fact that sometimes they're a little bit too gimmicky. I think because this one was made myself out of loads of little gubbins, it actually turned out quite well. Anywho, I love you all. Um, so yeah, so loads of watching this live. I am moving on the Tuesday, so I'm going to try and stream on the Sunday. Latest maybe on the Monday. And then I won't be streaming for about 10 days, maybe two weeks. Um, just because our internet won't be working at my flat and I'm going to be hot spockets, hot spotting on my work phone, which is fine for me uploading videos, so there will be a video during that videos, during that period. Uh, but there won't be any streams just because it'll be really unstable trying to, you know, stream via my mobile phone hot spot. Anyway, I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll speak to you lovely bunch soon. You take care.